Hey guys, what's up? So today's Friday and that means I get to make another video. So yeah, I'm realizing this is gonna be posted pretty late. I didn't really mean for it to come out that way. I mean, I was at school all day. Usually I get out at like 10.45ish, but today I was there till like three or four. I was studying for math. Is that finals next week? Yeah, that's what my whole last video was about. But anyway. All right, so I didn't really know what to make a video about today. So I asked some people for some suggestions. And the suggestions were Mega Man, uh, finals and penis and Chuck E. Cheese. As for the finals and penis one, well, I've already talked about finals and I, I don't really think you guys would be too interested in me talking about, you know, the male genitalia. So I'm going to leave that for another video. On the other hand, Mega Man and, uh, what was the other one? Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah, Chuck E. Cheese. Those sound like some pretty good video topics. Now, I really wasn't a huge Mega Man fan when I was a kid. I never even played any of the games before. I honestly don't have a reason why I've never played any of the Mega Man games. I mean, I guess I've just never, you know, had them so I could play them. That's pretty much the only reason I would give. I think I'm definitely going to try to play Mega Man X over the uh, Christmas break, though. Because I saw a review on it today that uh, James posted on Facebook, and it looks pretty pretty fantastic. So yeah, that's all I can really say about that. Alright, so Chuck E. Cheese. I used to love Chuck E. Cheese when I was little. I used to go there all of the time. It was probably one of my most favorite things to do. I really liked the, uh, oh man, what's it called? Like the tube maze or whatever? Y y you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I don't really know if this ever happened to you guys, but whenever I would go, it would always seem like there was some kid who was like stuck in the middle of the maze. Actually, no, he wasn't even stuck. He had just stopped. And you wouldn't really know why until you got closer. And then you would suddenly realize, this kid just shit his pants. So you have to climb over this kid who just crapped his pants. And you're like, I don't want to do that. But you have to, to progress through the maze. So you try to be nice, you try to get around him. And then like he tries to move a little bit and all you hear is, oh yeah, that's a nice sound effect. It's a really descriptive sound effect actually. Like there's a lot of things that can be applied to that. Stirring macaroni and cheese, straight up shlicking, and getting your balls caught in the dryer. What, that's never happened to you? But I digress. So you finally pass the kid with the filled pants. And there was that netted hangout spot where all the cool kids would chill. Yeah, screw those kids. They'd always be making fun of the kids that come off the maze. I don't know if it ever happened when you went, but it definitely happened every time I went to the Chuck E. Cheese. There was always like these four assy kids. I mean, like, where are these kids' parents? Yeah, his parents just probably dropped off their kids so they could go fulfill their heroin addiction without having to bring the kid along. I mean, that probably wouldn't be a very good situation. Mom, I want some heroin! Son, I've already given you five shots. It's not enough. Yeah, kids addicted to heroin jokes. Yeah, that's neat. But anyway, you go back to your parents after that and be like, Mom, give me some pizza. And she'd be all like, no, son. And then she would have Chuck E. Cheese sexually molest you. Has that only happened to me too? Is there even any other type of molestation? Anyway, uh, yeah. I think that's all I really want to say for this video. So, uh, yeah, Joe, we'll see you tomorrow. You'll see me next week. And see ya. Morris, you would never molest me, right? Hey guys, look, I've got Exodia the Forbidden One. Wanna trade? Too bad! Exodia! I choose you! Gosh, my hair's getting long. I need to do something with this one.